This is in Echo July 2022 General Mathematics Paper 2, and we are answering question number 8B. The question asks to solve this quadratic equation 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals to 0, but using completing the square method only. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. So first copy the given quadratic equation that we would like to use the completing square or that we are asked to use completing square method, not any other method, but only completing square method and solve this very quadratic equation. To solve quadratic equation using completing square method, first you do is to make the coefficient of the square term just one. Here I have two. So I would like to make this coefficient of x squared just one. So I'll divide through by that very coefficient, which is two. So dividing through by two will give a result x squared. That is dividing two x squared by two, you have uh, x squared only. Dividing three x by two, you have three x over two. And dividing this minus two, the constant term by two, you have uh, minus one. Dividing zero, the, uh, the right hand side by two, of course it will be zero. So this is the very first stage. Next stage is to take this constant to the right so that you have uh, this binomial x squared plus 3x over 2. Let me do that. So I'm going to have x squared plus 3x over 2 only by the left to have just a binomial equals to minus 1 shifted to the right now becomes a plus 1. So you have just 1 by the right here. So next is to make uh, this left hand binomial perfect square quadratic by adding a suitable constant there. The constant that we are going to add will now be half the coefficient of x. That result you square it. The coefficient of x here is 3 over 2. Half of it will now be 3 over 4. Then you square 3 over 4. When you square 3 over 4, it's going to give answer 9 over 16. So it is 9 over 16 that you add to this so that it becomes a perfect square trinomial. So adding 9 over 16 to the left, we must add 9 over 16 to the right for this equation to hold. So next, uh, I will now rewrite this left hand side, uh, right hand side as uh, in, in index form having power 2. This will now give answer x plus 3 over 4 in the bracket, and that bracket will now be raised to the power of 2. The 3 over 4 is half the coefficient of this x, which is 3 over 2. Half of it will be 3 over 4. This is what you now have. So this can now be written in index form with the power 2. And adding 1 plus 9 over 16, what you have by the right using LCM 16, you have 25 over 16. So next is to take square root of both sides. Square root of the left hand side will cancel this power 2. And square root of this right hand side, you now have uh, 5 over 4. That is square root of 25 would be 5, square root of 16 would be 4. When you take square root, it can be plus, it can be minus. So we continue. So next is to shift this 3 over 4 that you have by the left to the right, so that you have x only by the left. If that is done correctly, you now have x equals to this 3 over 4 that was shifted to the right will now give answer minus 3 over 4. Then copied this plus or minus 5 over 4 there. So continue. So to find x, this can be plus. It can also be minus. So let's just consider it to be plus first. If that is the case, you now have x equals to minus 3 over 4 plus 5 over 4. And this addition of two fractions, if done correctly using LCM4, it's going to give answer minus 1 over 2. Or if you take this to be minus, you now have x equals to minus 3 over 4 minus 5 over 4. And subtracting these fractions correctly using LCM, you're now going to have minus 2 as the final answer. So which means x can be minus 1 over 2 or x can take this value minus 2. These are the solutions of this very quadratic equation. So let me just give you the mark distribution for this very question as it is contained in the marking scheme. So the very first mark is method 1 mark, and this method 1 mark, uh, when you now take this minus 1 to the right-hand side uh, and have uh, this coefficient of the square term unity, 
you have this method one mark. Next mark is adding suitable constants so that you make the left hand side a perfect square trinomial. This gives you this method one mark. And when you now rewrite your left hand side in index form as x plus 3 over 4 in the bracket raised to the power of 2 equals to 25 over 16 correctly, you have this accuracy one mark. Next mark is method one mark for taking square root of both sides, you have this method one mark. And when you now shift this positive 3 over 4 to the right, you have this method one mark. And when you now have the value of x as minus 1 over 2, correctly, you have this accuracy one mark. And when you now have the second value of x as minus 2, you have this accuracy one mark also. So in total, this question has seven good marks.